hey guys welcome back to all in law this is a medical video lecture orthopedics and today I'm gonna talk about a very important topic post-traumatic ossification that's known as a myositis ossificans okay also known as a post-traumatic ossification post traumatic ossification okay so what's myositis ossificans is nothing but it's ossification okay it's ossification of the uh, hematoma around a joint resulting in the formation of what you call a mass around the joint around the bone and that restricts the movement of the joints so that results in what you call um, myositis ossificans mm -hmm. means if this is a joint okay let's talk about the elbow joint i don't know i'm not able to draw this okay if this is a, this is a hematoma formation over here and if it gets stuck and it forms a mass over here and hence the restriction movement, the movement of the joint gets restricted and results in the message is ossification. So it's nothing but ossification of the hematoma around the joint. Okay, what are the causes? Why it's due to? Okay, what is the cause for this? It's very important. Remember, it's, um, it's very common in the children. It's very common in the children than adults. Because the periosteum is loosely attached to the bone. Periosteum is loosely attached. Is loosely attached around the bones. So when the periosteum is loosely attached, um, that can be stripped off easily, right? So, from the bones by the violent displacement of the fragments, and that can result in the formation of and blood starts accumulating inside that and results in the what you call a hematoma and later becomes ossification and causes myositis ossificans, right? Very good. And there's also a relative high what you call incidence in a patients with a prolonged or a permanent neuronal damage from a head injury and in patients with a paraplegia. And the other factors that can aggravate myositis ossificans is remember it's a massage following the fracture. Most of the people do massage following the fracture and that can aggravate myositis. Remember. Okay. So very important. So myositis ossificans occurs when there is a severe injury to the joint, especially when the capsule and the periosteum have been stripped off from the bones as we see in the ch children because they are loosely attached okay so because of this what happened there's a formation of a hematoma and that results in ossification and hence forms a dense mass and restricts the movement of the joint okay what happens when there is a mass such as ossificans this leads to what definitely it leads to the stiffness of the joint as we discussed, one of the cause for the stiffness of the joint is mesotis ossificans. Okay, um, either it can be due to the thickening of the capsule or to the bone blocking movements. Right. In uh, some cases, this uh, mesotis ossificans, the bone bridge, the joint, resulting in complete loss of the movement. Okay, that's known as extraarticular ankylosis. That can also take place. Complete loss of movements. Extra. Articular ankylosis. Okay. Radiologically, an active myositis and a mature myositis can be identified. Remember. Okay. If you want to say, if you take an x ray, if it's an active or if this is an active and this is a mature. I am talking about the x-ray okay the uh, this one will have what you call the margins of the bone mass are fluffy okay 
and here it's uh, what you call a trabeculated with well-defined margins you can just google the images of this massage esophageal it's very important okay right trabeculated with well-defined margins margins well-defined margins right now let's talk about the treatment how do you treat it remember the one thing that you should advise to the patient is never ever try to do the massage following it what you call injury or treatment of injury massage is prohibited okay remember if there's an early active stage of mesitis the limb should be rested should be given rest and you can try what's called physiotherapy and if it's a mature if it's a mature you will find out where is the mature one x-ray if it's a mature you can do surgery and remove it off okay guys so this is our uh, treatment plan for this and mesitis ossificans and in general I discuss about the mesitis ossificans very important topic and it's also known as uh, post traumatic ossification if you like the video thumb up and please do share our videos with your friends thank you so much for watching this video take care